I called Tiffany and her mom to come out and take a look at this thing to see what he was going to do, but by the time they got there, he'd walked into the CRP. And I never saw that deer again. And then later in the season, driving down the road, looking out at that CRP, and I just caught a glimpse of something white in the, in the, in the grass. And you can see out here, I mean, it was tilled under. I mean, there's, I mean, you could never drive on this. You can hardly walk on it. But that's just what I thought a couple times. I thought he looked like he wanted to lay down. But I thought, well, maybe his feet are just in these deep grooves. At that time of year, they act so odd anyways if they're with the doe. So it's going to make me really sad if this is a bug, though. Shoot. Yeah. He's a young deer. Yeah. Well, I got there. some pictures of him in velvet. So we pulled in there, went out and looked, and sure enough, there's the rack. It's big, six by six, like a three-year-old buck. Just need like one more year, and a steer, deer would have been a giant. And I said his rack, it wasn't one that we would shoot. You know, I said we'd give him another year because he's so narrow. So he had a big double neck patch, and, and he had big neck and stuff. Yeah. What a shame.